how to scrap a microwave. And there be the tools needed. Power drill with Phillips head, some kind of cutters, and a hammer. First step, we gotta flip this sucker over so this control panel sides up and pull these screws off the side panels. Of course, that one's got a weird head on it, but we are going to take care of that. And that's it, just this side. We got one more little guy hiding right there. Alright, we can just lift this up with the hammer. There we go. Flip her open. Now we got this guy right here to test to see if it's actually copper wire or not, right there. So let's do that. All right, so pretty much just gonna use this grinding wheel and cut this and see what color the inside of the wire is. And there she be. That is not copper. You can see it's like a silver color. So we're going to keep that right in there. That is not what we're looking for. All right, next step. Pull all these wires out. Most of these are copper. You can just clip them real quick and check. So we'll pull all these suckers out real quick. Looks like someone already cut the cord on this, so I'm not going to do that. Alright, so there be a little bit of wire. Alright, now we grab this little bit of copper hanging out. Where is it? This little bit right here behind this fan. So, I'll pull that off real quick. There she be. A little bit of copper there. A little bit there. Okay, now let's pull this guy off here. We got a copper core inside. And a tiny bit of copper in there. And I think these fins are aluminum or stainless. So let's grab that. All we need is Phillips head on those screws. Should be out of there. Should be able to pull that out. So now we're gonna jam this thing open. All right, this one's got some screw holes on it, so. It'll help us a little bit. Oh, that's definitely gonna help. Probably just pry this open. And pull this guy right out of there. Alright, four right inside we're just down to the core we got to pull these fins off right here sometimes they fall off sometimes you can just pry them off okay so there be the copper core you can cut the ends off this we'll cut the ends off it later this thing's got a tiny bit of, just a little bit of copper in there. We gotta bash that thing open. And we got this little guy right in there. Pull that up. 
There she be. This whole side is good. I like just jamming it back closed like that. And now we'll grab a little bit of a little bit of copper in this. These ones are easy. That uh, you don't even need a screwdriver, dude. Watch this. She be. Now we got a little bit of copper. Hanging out right inside this thing. Damn, usually it falls right out. But there she be. Alright, there's like two things left. We're gonna get this little guy off here right now. And we're getting the grinding wheel out. I'll pull that out of there. So this is nothing. I'm just gonna pull that off there like that. And there she be. Okay, we'll just make a cut right there with the grinding wheel. And this should be easy. Pull that right out now. Good. Alright, last thing. These copper cores. I don't know if some junkyards take just the cores. But if they do, you don't even have to do this. Uh, grab some vice grip. To the other side. Pick up. That's probably like a ton of copper. That is pretty much how you strip a microwave. We are looking at, I don't know, honestly, it's probably like 10 bucks total. I'm not sure. You guys all rule. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll keep making more videos for you.